if you could fully extinguish species a company or institution deemed harmful would it be justified to? Who decides? How will it affect food chains and ecosystems? The weapon already exists and although it is in prototype stage, its development occurs a breakneck pace. This is the alarming introduction with which Sylvia Ribeiro, a researcher at the Environmental Group etc., denounced the controversial development and environmental implications of genetic drivers. What is a genetic drive? It is a new genetic engineering technology that can permanently alter species by promoting a particular character within the reproductive cycle of the organism. A character is a genetically determined quality e color. In normal sexual reproduction, a character has only 50% chance to express themselves. With a genetic drive, however, the character is driven, so that all descendants always carry and express a specific trait of interest. Genetic drivers artificially force a character designed to be distributed through the natural population, until it becomes ubiquitous or have the entire population collapse. Alyssa Pierre Domenico Reuters, as Sylvia Ribeiro points out in his article about it, a few international goes promoting this new biotechnology, as a means of nature conservation, which propose to use to extinguish invasive species, mice, insects, weeds. The good intentions, artificial cure diseases and species conservation. As recognized even environmental groups, teams working on genetic drivers, that would eradicate mosquitoes or ray would design so that they cannot transmit malaria, as explained in an interesting article published by the Harvard Magazine. Theoretically, mosquitoes, that transmit dengue zika, and could also be combated with genetic drive systems. In addition, at least one team currently working on the development of genetic drive, to combat worms that cause schistosomiasis, and other research groups suggest genetic drivers for the parasite, that causes whipworms and pinworms. Read more China, create a genetic tool that causes the suicide of cancer cells. Moreover, some conservationists argue that the tools that deliberately cause the extinction could be used to restore the ecological balance in parts of the world. Specifically, a consortium of five partners, led by the conservation group Island Conservation, are developing rodents with genetic engineered drivers to attack and extinguish the mice that harm native birds and certain ecosystems suffering from this problem. In the same vein, there is also a considerably advanced project to develop genetic drivers and mosquitoes, which would be released in Hawaii, where native species of mosquito carries a form of malaria that affects native birds, must take into account that genetic technology can drive entire species permanently alter the environment by releasing a single individual bioengineered. This project is sponsored by Hawaii the Long Now Foundation's Revive and Restore project. An excessive control over nature? Genetic drivers can redesign entire ecosystems, cause extinctions and intervene in large-scale living systems. Once the genetic drivers are designed within a species that reproduces rapidly, they could alter its population in a very short time frame, from months to a few years, and quickly cause extinction. In this radically new technology it is also called mutagenic chain reaction. Reuters has detractors point out that combines extreme genetic engineering of synthetic biology and new techniques of genomics issue with the idea that humans can and should use such powerful and limitless, as it tools to control nature. Genetic drivers fundamentally change the relationship between humanity and the natural world, forever, says etc. group in its statement on the matter. The possible military use of this technology from the environmental group etc. own state, that the implications for the environment, food security, peace and even social stability are significant. Dealing with this unbridled technology and compared with the challenge of controlling nuclear power, and warn the possibility, that this technology could be used for military purposes, genetic drivers are a classic double technology use case, which means that once developed for a purpose, 
genetic drivers could also be used as a weapon or biological warfare agent. For example, is already working on making parasitic worms with genetic drive to eradicate them. The same technology could be used to make those worms spreading diseases or toxins. You were created in genetic drivers lab in yeast, and can be designed that are harmful to humans. The release of a genetic drive in a farm field food production could attack of an entire country. And the genetic drivers in mosquitoes and other insects can be used to distribute lethal toxins with their bite. Strong opposition to the use of genetic drivers critics of this technology handled arguments of great significance to combat their use and implementation. Paula Whitaker writer Sylvia Ribeiro, whom we referred at the beginning of this article, explains, a genetic drive is a transgene construct tricks to nature so that sexually reproducing species plants, insects, animals, humans, pass necessarily a foreign gene to all subsequent generations. It is a biotechnological way that destroys the advantage developed in the co-evolution of species over millions of years with sexual reproduction. 71 governments and 355 goes belonging to the IUCN International Union for Conservation of Nature, submitted an amendment to the use of genetic drivers, thus deferring the support of the IUCN own research, field experiments and use of genetic drivers until analyzed in depth and evaluate their impacts on biodiversity and on any other aspect. In addition, 30 personalities, including the scientific field there are professionals, environmentalists, lawyers and indigenous leaders have developed and signed a statement against the use of the scientific application. Butterfly Caterpillar Silk vs. When are Joe Gazano's transgenic spider silk will save the United States troops the impact of bullets we believe that such a powerful and potentially dangerous technology, as genetic drivers pray the first paragraph of this communique, whose unintended consequences have not been studied or tested, nor has it been evaluated in ethical and social impacts, should not be promoted as a conservation tool. And this is one of the fragments that best sums up the spirit of his opposition to the use of genetic drivers, who signed, leaders and practitioners in the fields of science, politics, environmental protection, conservation and law, we are alarmed to the fact, that some conservation organizations have agreed to finance, and promote environmental release of engineered organisms with genetic drivers. They propose deliberately use extinction as a tool in direct contradiction to the ethical purpose of conservation organizations, which is to protect the life on Earth. We are also concerned about the potential use of genetic drivers, as weapons of war and their applications in agriculture, and that current regulatory schemes are not able to assess and govern this new technology.